This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I'll talk more about Squarespace later on in the video. Hello. Welcome to the show. My name is Edward, and I'm the Be a Vegan. Good morning. Today's Friday, July 16th. 16th. We're a month away from my birthday. Today's a vlog. I haven't done a vlog in a long time and I kind of feel like doing a vlog. I'm also going to include what I eat, but it's not going to be like a making of like my normal what I eat in a days. But we have a lot of exciting stuff today. We have a lot of errands to run and we're picking up a new car. And we're getting some OJ. No which, is it, which is included in the errands. Oh, my coffee's so far away. What do you need? My coffee. Yeah. Lose it. <laughs> Mm. There's a lot of stuff going on. I have to film another video before this one goes out about my pregnancy. I mean, they'll know by now already because they'll have watched the other video. Certainly hope so. <laughs> anyway, if you didn't know, we're pregnant. I'm pregnant. We're pregnant. I always thought it was kind of cringe when other couples were like, we're pregnant. Um, but As a team, we are pregnant, but you biologically are pregnant. I am the one carrying the child. And yeah, we're just trying to adjust. The thing about pregnancy is that it's like really slow, but then really fast. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> I just, I feel like the weeks are crawling by, but at the same time I'm like, oh my God, we're almost at the halfway mark. Yeah, well it's also almost an entire year. I'm eating bun bao. It was my grandma's birthday yesterday, and so I was thinking about my grandma, because normally she makes bun bao, but obviously I don't see her right now, because of the pandemic. So I decided to try making it myself. I'll probably release a recipe. That I wasn't really happy with the way these turned out, so I need to like perfect the method, but. Stay tuned. We're going on an adventure, Charlie. It's a little joke for the older folks in the audience. For the boomers. My, my internet friends keep calling me boomer because we're older than them. I'm not a boomer. I'm not technically a boomer. I'm a millennial. Well, my house looks really messy from this angle. Let's just do that. No, that's terrible. We live in a lived in house, okay? This ain't no showboat Instagram perfection house. So things have been delayed. It's Almost 12, we were gonna go pick up the car, but we have been told from Toyota that our car is now delayed. I think there's like some licensing li licensing issue that they're running a little behind. I think people are like buying a lot of cars right now, so they busy. So we're gonna go to Costco, and I'm gonna try and film in Costco without getting yelled at, so let's go. My uh, tripod broke, so we're improvising with angles today. Remember to hydrate. There's no line at Costco, feels good. And we got a parking spot like super close. That never happens. So we're getting tomatoes. OJ tomatoes vibes. Ooh, maybe a fruit. Ooh. Nines. <laughs> we just finished a little Costco run. Everything is like normal at Costco now, which is like wild. Luckily it wasn't like super busy today, but like there's no lines anymore. People are just in there. It's just like pretty normal. Um, but seeing as I just today broke my tripod for my camera which you are seeing me on um, I need to buy a new one because I also bought a new camera because this camera is like okay um, but the sound on it is probably not super great so I wanted to get a camera that has better low light filming capability and also can have external microphone hello did you tell all the people about how there's a car right there waiting for us to leave oh I didn't see that makes sense okay well we're going to Henry's and we're gonna get a tripod so let's go is it that way Yes. Oh. We have a little bit of time before we go pick up the car. I hate opening boxes. I do not enjoy them. Ugh. Thank you for shopping at Viztech. Ooh, a lens cleaner cloth thingy. Ah, uh, <laughs> so messy. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. What a mess. I appreciate how well it's packed, but damn. It was like packed with both bubble wrap and peanuts, so getting that there was just a lot of peanuts everywhere. But hey, look, a cleaning cloth. Do you need a workout or the best unboxing? <laughs> Warranty, manual, more manual. Ooh. I think battery, plug. 
Can you plug in the battery? That's what I'm doing. Excellent. Wait, does it not come with a block charger? Oh, isn't, no. isn't there normally like an adapter? I wonder if you charge it in the camera. I think you do. That's annoying. Ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. Okay, so I just pop this on. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. Can you uh, free my claw from its prison? Put you in here, right? Or do I do it the other way? I suppose it's anyway. We could do this after a little bit. I just want to do this now. You know, put this in, then charge it, and then we can go. Why are you wearing it while you're doing this? It's just so I make sure that it's like flat and not twisted, because that's like so annoying. Okay, get inside. Ha ha! Camera. Look at this tiny little lens cap. Oh, it's so little. Oh my God, how adorable. Wow, it's very compact. I'm very happy about this. Welcome to the new camera. Hopefully soon you'll see footage from this instead of this guy. Okay, we're gonna go because Eddie's rushing me. Before we tour the new car, let's talk about today's fantastic sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace has made it possible for me to keep doing this job as a job, and they do it with style. So many different templates to choose from that are sleek, beautiful, and super easy to use. You add in your content, add a domain, which you can buy directly through them, send newsletters with their built-in email marketing tools, sell your merch. It's just a great time because you set it and forget it. You never need to patch or update anything. Your sites are mobile friendly. They're eye-catching, and they're great whether you've got an online shop, a restaurant, a podcast, whatever. So get started today by going to Squarespace Squarespace.com slash VietVegan and use code VietVegan to get 10% off your first order. Yeah, this is our new RAV4. How are you feeling? Fine. Fine. This bad boy right here, I don't know what it's actually called, but it's kind of like a tonneau cover for a truck. It may actually be called a tonneau cover, but mm -hmm. basically it hides all your goods. So you put all your goods in here, then people who are looking to rob you, look in the window and be like, I can't even see anything. So they don't rob you. Then you can just roll it up like nothing. We got this from Mr. Jeff Bezos. So, you know, we can secure our luggage so that it doesn't roll around all willy-nilly. We'll lose watermelons and cantaloupe and other melons. It's rolling around back here. They got all bruised and stuff. This is removable, so that's neat. And then we also got this from Canadian Tire, not from uh, Mr. Bezos at all. And it's full of Lisa's little ding-dongs. <laughs> it's not ding-dongs. Okay, one time I was driving to Ottawa and it was winter and I spun out and I thought I was gonna get stuck in a ditch because I was in a ditch and I panicked and I was like, you know what? I wanna make sure that I'm prepared. So I have like general emergency stuff like a flashlight, tea lights, matches, a deck of cards, you know, for emergencies. <laughs> A fire starter. In here I have yeah, matches, a sharpie, we have a space blanket, we have a, a jumper cable set, um, a lighter, <laughs> and then I have a Swiss Army knife. Actually it's not in the car, it's in my purse, but you know, it's here. And I used to have it in like a giant wicker basket, but then it just took up a lot of space, so this is a better solution. I do wish it like was like against I mean that's the probably what more. uh these are four, but uh, we never actually figured it out. Oh, I wonder if we can just secure it to like this. Maybe. Anyway, so that's our trunk. Well, we're not done here. Oh, okay. there's tons more. Okay. For example, check out this little light. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe we don't. Oh, it's that kind. <laughs> Look at that little light. Oh my God, turns on. And then here, we got an outlet for, you know, not really an outlet. Cigarettes. It's 12 volt, I think. 12 volt? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you have like a little camping fridge or something like that, you can plug that in there. Got a little nook for things you don't want rolling around. Mm -hmm. And under here we have a spare tire. Oh, and a car jack. I didn't know we had that. Oh yeah, it comes with spare tire kits. Does it? Yeah. I don't think mine did. I mean, it should. <laughs> uh, and then this is also reversible with awesome stuff that's super slidey, uh, but will also, take a bit of a beating because on 
this side, you can up your carpet a little bit. And then these guys pop off so that you can hide your tunnel cover. Boom, it's gone forever. Guys, this is the back seat. Welcome to luxury. There's USB ports for your passengers. I mean, they flip shut, but yeah, there's USB ports. 2.1 amps, that is medium speed charging for you. <laughs> and air vent for the passengers. Again, luxury. Let's not forget about middle seat armrest slash cup holder. Usually in less luxury vehicles, the only cup holders you'll find in the back seat are in the door, which we do have. <laughs> <laughs> then, this is also a good spot for your water bottle if it doesn't fit in cup holders. <laughs> and the thing that's behind there is a garbage bin. That this can is a close. garbage bin. It does look nicer when the bag isn't sticking out of it, but for practicality, yeah, that's. It's a garbage bin. It's attached to me while I drive. Yep. Cause you're trash. That's right. You wanna release that side so that we can bring this whole thing down together so that I don't have to take that off. Now in theory, if Lisa's little thing wasn't here, you could lay like plywood or something down here if you're a big construction-y type folk. Or if like me, you just every now and then have to haul around huge boxes. But it gets pretty flat. So, you know. It's nice. Yeah, it is nice. <laughs> And then and all the thing that I like is that they have the latch feature for car seats. That was very important to me. Right, they know you're pregnant. They do. I forgot. Now they do split here, but we just did it together so we didn't have to take off Lisa's thingamajiggy. Yes. Right here, we have a premium front seat. A little, little nook right here, that's where you can put your masks. Got all these little buttons here, you know. This one right here is your automatic high beams, so you don't actually have to pay attention when you blind people on the highway. Apparently, didn't know this, this is a heated windshield wiper thing. It defrosts your windshield wipers in the winter. That's pretty cool. And we're in Canada. Sure are. Heated steering wheel, again, in Canada. I expect that'll be handy. Handy. For your hands. And oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, and then this is just the button to open and close the back hatch. Mm. Steering wheel. All right, we're done. Yeah. Uh, we're getting some, bring me some vegan, which is like a vegan chicken burger that's here in Hamilton. But they make also a vegan honey that is like unbelievable. Like legitimately the best vegan honey I've ever tasted. So yeah, we're also gonna do some groceries. Well, I'm getting like bun me. That's really all I want. I dropped off my, my car because I need new tires on it. And if you're wondering what we're doing with all of our cars, we're keeping Eddie's car and obviously this new car. And then my car, oh my God, it's so quiet. It plays EV when you're at low speeds. So quiet, that's gonna be nice for the vlog. Um, but yeah, my car is gonna go to my brother eventually when he gets his driver's license. So it's like pretty old, it's like a 2005, so anyway. Let's go get some chicken burgers. Wait, I don't need this. Wow. Found that Dollarama. Uh, do you want any? You don't want any? We have snacks. Okay, this is true. The Tupperware aisle. I don't, I don't know what you're looking for. Well, I was looking for something to like organize inside the console and also for like a snack bucket, but I kind of hate these containers, but I feel like I guess we also have containers that are adequate for this. It says vegan, but y'all, it's room temperature. Room temperature butter. That makes me uncomfortable. But also would be great for the car ride, do you, do you think? I think this is gonna be one of those things where once you open it, you're supposed to uh, refrigerate it. Um, yeah. Also like room temperature hummus. I don't know about that. Refrigerate after opening. Fair enough. Honestly, I'm kind of impressed there's organic spices here. But are you vegan? Cheese flavored puffs. Contains milk. What a bummer. Those ones are vegan. Yes. Uh, bevies. Eddie got the special sauce, which I assume is like Big Mac sauce. And then this is the hot honey. I did not think it through when I asked for their, the secret sauce or whatever. No, we got that one. But there's no description. Did you get the Nashville or regular? I'm just Nashville. Okay. 
Yours was just as spicy. Just as spicy. We got some curly fries. No one cares that it's crooked, but whatever. Is it crooked? I got the fry. Shaquille O'Neal. Mine is spicy, it's just a chicken burger. Do I wanna take a picture of this? Kind of. Is it mac sauce? No, I think it's more like the, what's that place in California? I think it's still like Thousand Island dressing. Yeah. I'll just talk through the plating. Frenchy fries, curly fries, a burger. Since my car is going to my brother, I wanna make sure that the tires on it are okay. Actually, I would have just put the old tires on, but they're apparently too old, um, and Costco refused to put the tires on for safety slash liability reasons. That's how old they were. Yo, that looks so good. This is too much food for little old me, but essentially, I met with one guy this morning and was like, hey, this is my car, this is the make, I need new tires. And he's like, cool, we have the tires that you need in stock. I was like, super. He's like, bring it in two o'clock today. I was like, no. Oh, hot honey. Mmm. What a good time. I bring it in today. The guy is a lot more snippy with me. I don't know why. Oh, I was it the same guy? No, it was a different guy. Oh. I've talked to that guy before and he's always like kind of mean to me. Um, and he's like, what tires were they? And I was like, I don't know. Just Bridgestone tires of some sort that'll fit my car. I was like, I think they said, that he said it would come to 650. He was like, how big are your tires? What's the size of your tires? I'm like, I don't know. He was like, incredulous that I didn't know that. I'm sorry, tire man. I've never had to buy tires before. So anyway, this is the second time I had to bring it back to Costco. Then I have to bring it on Monday because they're gonna order the tires in. Would you like to try my secret sauce? I don't know if it's me friendly. Is there any nuts that you think? Probably not. Despite me not liking sweets that much, I'd rather have the hot honey. So anyway, we have a car now. My original car is now parked on the street. Yeah, we have a, we, we are an SUV family now. You just laugh at me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? Because when you say SUV family, it just feels to me like, like no sedans, no minivans, no trucks. We're an SUV family through and through. We are. <laughs> we have a sedan. No, we don't. I'm just kidding. What a good looking piece of lettuce. There's no way I can eat this whole burger. <laughs> Saving for something for later. I'm being realistic with how much I can actually fit inside my body. Oh, look at that. That looks great. This vlog has everything. It's got frustrations. It's got food. It's a mukbang. Oh yeah. I guess I haven't done one in a while. I'm gonna save this for later. What a good looking bun. Mmm. Um, some of you might be wondering what car we bought, why we bought it. I did post about it on Instagram. There was like a whole ordeal. We were like considering getting a Tesla. We could like technically afford a Tesla, but we'd be like car poor for the next like eight years. So we decided for financial responsibility reasons that we would not cripple our savings for the next eight years Ooh. with a Tesla and we bought a car that's half the price. Um, we wanted to get a plug-in hybrid, but the way our parking lot works, we have no way of getting power. We talked to our condo. They refused to install any sort of power, even if we paid for it. And like, I'm pretty sure there are laws that say that we can't, like they can't say no. I think it would be cost prohibitive for us to try and put it there though. Like we might as well buy another car level of expensive. Yeah. Like I think it's like 10 grand probably to put in the charger. I'd say probably more. I don't think it's more. Anyway, neither it was us, a whole thing. Neither of us are electricians. There was like a lot of back and forth. People were like, I know I opened up my DMs to be like, hey, can you give me suggestions on what your experience with a battery electric vehicle has been if you don't have a place to park at home? And I got so many people responding with like, I specifically said I wanted a hybrid, like a plug-in hybrid or a battery electric vehicle. And like so many people gave me suggestions for just conventional gas cars. And I was like, this is, this is not what I asked for. It was like a flood. And like so many people judged us for even considering a Tesla First, for like the ethical reasons. Second, because it's an expensive car. They're like, how can you afford that kind of car, blah, blah, blah. It's like, we've been saving for a long time. Like I said, it would have crippled us for like the next eight years financially, but we could have technically done it. But we ultimately just decided it wasn't like the right move for us. And like, we wanted a bigger car because we have a baby coming. And like, I told Edward that like, we can do life with a baby in a sedan, but it's like significantly harder. I'm very clumsy. Baby stuff takes up a lot of space and we like to do car trips and grocery hauls. That's not as easy in a sedan with a baby. Our first like experience of this was we bought a stroller used on Facebook Marketplace and it took up the entire trunk and then we got a bassinet with it and that took the entire back space or back seat. And Eddie was like, oh, 
<laughs> I guess we do need to pick a car. And I was like, I told you. Like when we decided that the Tesla was kind of out of our price range, your car works fine. Let, let's not buy a car right now. Let's maybe wait a year or two. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, as soon as we got the stroller and the best now, we're like, well, so let's revisit that discussion. <laughs> I mean, I had a feeling we would buy a new car. I didn't really feel super safe driving Gertie around. Yeah, that's why I was going to drive Gertie around. Mm, right, true. So we're going to do the old trade seas. Yeah, for context, my car is like 20 years old. Well, it's not 20 years old. 2005. It's like 15 years old. Actually, she's 16 years old because we got her when my brother was born. Her brother's 16. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> she's an old car. She still works. She's just a little rickety. We're going to do a road trip in a few weeks. Content coming soon. It's so smooth. Also, inside my car, I always forget how loud it is in my car when I'm driving because <laughs> it's just such an old car. Like sitting in the RAV4, I'm like, wow, it's like silent. On top of that, it's a hybrid, so most of the time the engine wasn't running for a lot of the driving we did today. So yeah, we have a conventional hybrid, so it's not a plug-in because we don't have a plug-in. We actually wanted to get the RAV4 Prime, which is a plug-in hybrid, but apparently it's like the most in-demand car of like the entire world. BC and Quebec have more stringent deadlines for uh, EV cars, so like... No, for emissions. They have like more well, like stringent, too. like so they prioritize those those provinces because of those like emission targets. Yeah, because those those are like mandates set by the, those provincial governments. It's like no, no. I guess those have to go over there first. We ultimately decided to go with a used conventional hybrid, which unfortunately does not tick a lot of the boxes that we initially went in because Eddie commutes to work and he wanted to use the carpool lane and green vehicles and carpool vehicles can use that lane, but you need a specific kind of car. So you can't just use any hybrid car in there. We wanted a specific either plug-in hybrid or fully electric vehicle. Nothing was in our price range and or available. So we got a used RAV4, which was like basically brand new, honestly. And we like saved 10 grand off of it, the price brand new, so. Smart financial decisions are usually the least interesting or the least exciting. It was nerve wracking. I had to like, attempt to negotiate and it went very poorly. <laughs> I choked really He's like, hard. hey, what can we get? Can we maybe get in this price range? And the guy's like, no. He just literally <laughs> laughed in my face. <laughs> I did shave off 400 bucks, but. Yeah, he's like, tell you what, I'll do, I'll do this for you. But he did kind of laugh in my face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like a, a genuine kind of guy and maybe that's his sales tactic for the, the more pessimistic people out there, but <laughs> I really don't think they could have given us much. No, it was really competitively priced. Like I was already pretty happy with the price, but I wanted to like negotiate more to see how I get a do. little some more. Hey, we saved 400 bucks. That yeah. just pays for the tires that I just bought. The guy doing the finances was like literally every st stereotype of a used car salesman. The slick hair, the uh, pinstripe suit or whatever. It was like a pinstripe plaid. No, it was like a plaid suit, but it was like pink and gray. He was like overly charming and would laugh at our jokes, even though I wasn't joking. <laughs> I also wasn't, wasn't convinced that it was genuine laughter. It could have been. I don't know the guy. But, but it was like a, like a ha 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 ha. Like I was like, whoa. Like, like big laugh. Okay. A, little, a little over the top. I don't know. He, he called twice today. Once to push our appointment back and the second time to check on us because he wasn't around when we actually picked up. Because he called me in the Dallas still. Oh, that's who that was. I understand that like older generations of like car buying people like, like that sort of like follow up and like customer service. But I'm like... I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, just like provide me a path to contact you if there's a problem. Otherwise, leave me alone. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to field calls from you. That could also be because we're specifically introverts. <laughs> I don't think I'm an introvert though. You are when it comes to things you don't want to do. <laughs> I think I just don't want to do them. Yeah. That's the car. This is 17 minutes of footage that I will need to pare down to like 10. Future Lisa, I am so sorry. It's been a long time since I've done a vlog. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking because otherwise it's just gonna forever. Bye. Well, I mean, like, if we keep talking, then that's funnier for me. So <laughs> mm -hmm. let's talk about your new camera. Um, I talked about it a little bit, that I'm excited about it. I explained why I bought a new camera over this one. I'm inheriting this one. Are you? Yeah, it's mine now. What are you filming? Stuff. So yeah, the customer sales rep person at Henry's was like, Everyone's like super friendly right now and it's like too much. I don't know if it's in the US, but like, it's just like camera store, whatever. It's like B-Niche. 
I feel like a lot of people, especially over the last year, if they needed camera stuff or whatever, they would just buy it on Amazon or online or whatever. And there's two or three guys in the store, just like, the store is empty. <laughs> and as soon as we come in, it's like, hey guys, welcome, welcome to the store. What can I get you? What are you looking for? Can I help you in any way? Have you ever checked this out? There's a lot. He did upsell me on like two things that I did need. Like I needed new memory cards and a bunch of things were on sale. But then he tried to like, what about this? What about this? What about this? And I'm like, I think you think that I take photography and videography way more seriously than I actually do. Maybe you should take it more seriously. Maybe he's right and you're wrong. I don't want to lug so much gear around. Do you see like the camera bags that like Becky and Chris do? Yeah, like the, the big backpack ones. Yeah, and they, they bring like six lenses around, three camera bodies, a drone. Don't get me wrong. I do watch their videos because they're so aesthetically pleasing. Capitalize on their audience. That's so much work, so much storage. You'd have to build a raid storage for me because like that's so much footage. I am not that kind of YouTuber. But you could be if you took things a little more seriously. <laughs> Edward, <laughs> so mean. Future Lisa, I have successfully extended this by almost three minutes. <laughs> no. Okay, so I'm here. I have to film some extra footage for my Momento collab. Um, and I'm playing around with the camera and I discovered that I can like just set my tripod here and as belly grows bigger I can like make it like a steady cam. So I've just been walking around like this. And the footage is actually not that bad. How do I- I feel like there's like more to this. Oh, I can lock it to be like higher up and wider. Woo! Yeah, I gotta try and film some stuff here. I'm also testing out this other light that Eddie has from work. For those who don't know, Eddie works in like broadcasting and sometimes he has access to light so he brought this home for me to like check out or to test they're pretty affordable and like they're pretty bright so how do i zoom in oh wow all right what's the record button oh it's on the side wow Time to edit, so less boring or less interesting stuff is gonna happen, so I'm just not gonna show you. Hello, editing Lisa here. So for the rest of this night, I did absolutely nothing. I mean, that's not true. I was working on my computer, um, but it's not very interesting for the vlog, so I didn't record anything else. I think I ate the second half of my burger. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's like not the most interesting content, like I'm not doing anything super exciting. I felt like it was interesting to share like my process of like buying the car, picking up the car, things that we like looked for in a car, because when I shared it on Instagram, and I know a lot of you who are here or aren't on Instagram, but a lot of people who I shared this with on Instagram were interested in like why we're getting a new car. I mean, this is before I we announced that I was pregnant, but um, growing our family was like the major motivator. This is something that we wanted to do for a while, um, but it helps us go on trips, do grocery hauls, lug stuff around. That was just like the logistics behind the car. And I hope you found it interesting. I really enjoy filming random vlogs like this. And this is like the kind of content that I like seeing. It's just like people living their life and doing everyday things. I like putting this kind of video on in the background and like while I brush my teeth or do dishes and whatever. So I'm happy to be your background entertainment. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know down below what you think of vlogs like this. If you want more vlogs like this, cause like I'm very happy to film more stuff like this. Cause like I do a lot of boring life stuff very frequently, especially now we'll be like doing a lot more house arranging and whatnot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, don't worry, I, I will have other vlogs where I am doing more interesting things, especially with the, uh, the trip coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know uh, your thoughts on like buying a new car or like this is the kind of content that you enjoy in terms of like, Logisticking. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a delicious day. Bye.